students now few terms related to this concept of uh, gdp to understand it in a better way we will see now what are those uh, terms which are related to this gdp as i mentioned if you remember i define uh, i have given a definition for this gdp gdp is nothing but it is the total market value of all the final goods and services produced within the country in a given one year period of time here if you observe i use final goods so what are the different types of goods types of goods types of goods are primary goods intermediate goods and the final goods this is the term i use so what is the difference between these uh, primary intermediate and the final goods primary goods are the goods which are not ready for usage or consumption say for example uh, a trunk a wood from a tree directly which is not readily uh, available for usage it has to go under manufacturing process and finally it uh, will appear in the form of uh, a chair or a desk which is readily available for usage and you can take a uh, iron ore again which is a uh, uh, will be in the form of raw material that we can obtain from the nature and that the uh, iron ore must go under a process and finally it can be seen uh, in the form of a final good say for example here in this case uh, bicycle which is ready for usage and uh, the, those are the goods comes under this so mostly here primary goods are raw materials raw materials which are directly extracted from the nature comes to this uh, intermediate goods the name itself is saying intermediate the goods which are under the process under the manufacturing process and which are again not ready for usage that is uh, that such type of goods comes under intermediate goods so those goods which are in the middle of the process and which are not ready for usage and next uh, comes to this final goods the name itself is saying final goods are the goods which are readily available for usage or consumption so say for example this piece of chalk which is ready for usage in the same way you can take uh, even different types of goods also which are readily available for use or even for consumption also say for example whatever that uh, we obtain uh, say for example uh, food grains which are uh, you know we get uh, from the uh, plants take an example paddy so paddy which will be in the form of a grain initially with uh, covered with a husk now that goes to a mill where that miller with the help of the with the help of the with the help of the machines he removes that husk and uh, finally the grain uh, would be polished and finally it reaches uh, uh, a shop owner and finally from the shop owner we buy the food grains and those food grains are you no know, we cook and that cooked food that is readily available for us that will become a, a final good and at the time of uh, you no know, uh, farmers uh, where we purchase the grains those are not readily available for the consumption such a type of goods are not called final goods the final goods are which are readily available for our consumption or for our usage such type of goods are called final goods this word is uh, you know being used in our definition gdp now one more word one more uh, term which i used in a definition is market value market value what is the market value market value say for example here any good which is being manufactured in factory in factory say for example this piece of chalk this piece of chalk which is being manufactured in a factory so at that factory the price of this chalk could be say for example uh, 1 rupee 1 rupee now from the factory a factory owner transport these goods to the market so here at the market the price would not be uh, sold at uh, 1 rupee 
The reason is here the factory owners expect some profit, and that uh, good is being transported to the market. Here again, there is a transportation cost. Transportation cost. The transportation cost also will be added to this uh, price as well as the profit what the factory owner expects also must be added to this price and finally this piece of chart in the market will be available at a different price definitely not at the price where it is being manufactured and here in the market also finally here a seller will be there who buys these piece of charts from the factory owner and he will sell this piece of charts he also expects uh, some profit. That profit, uh, what he expects, also must be added to the final price. That's why, if you look at uh, the final goods which are being or uh, which are ready for usage, on those final goods, on the cover or package of those goods, there will there is a mention of one word known as MRP, maximum retail price. So this is the final price of this good. I am talking about, about the concept GDP where this value of all goods and services will be taken into account. So I repeat the definition, the total market value of all the goods, here I have uh, taken up only a good piece of chart, such like uh, goods will be thousands in number, lakhs in number. All the market values of all those goods will be added up. And again, the value of all the kinds of services which I discussed here, banking, financial, insurance, education, health, transport, communication, defense, the value of all those services also must be added. And finally, we will get one value. That one value will become a total income of the country. That is taken up as a GDP of a country or the total uh, income of a country. Now based on that, based on the GDP value or the total income of the countries, the countries are given rankings. Now based on the GDP, based on the GDP different countries are given different rankings. Now the country which uh, Occupy the first position in the world is US, United States of America. What is the USA's GDP value or the total income of the entire country, USA, is 22 trillion dollars. And the second position where this country, China, comes in the second position with uh, around, uh, I can say, uh, 13 trillion dollars. Now, these are again approximate values. And next, third position occupied by the country Japan with 5 trillion dollars. Next, fourth position occupied by country Germany with 3.5 trillion dollars. Now, the fifth position occupied by India. Our GDP value of India is at present approximately 2.9 trillion dollars. So, which occupied the fifth position? So, being the fifth largest economy in the world, still in India, many more issues are there need to be solved. Now, this is uh, what the finally the concept of GDP is. In the next uh, coming session, the further topics we will discuss. Thank you.